Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, the shortage continues. What am I talking about? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the tennis industry has been hit pretty hard by COVID uh, in kind of a positive way. We are short on a lot of things. Um, the demand is extremely high on rackets, shoes, tennis balls. Uh, there's just a lot of pressure on these things. And uh, because of the pandemic, production has slowed. All the tr channels of distribution have slowed um, getting the things onto the docks to get to get on the trucks to get to the stores have slowed. So just to give you an idea of uh, what's going on, you know that canal thing, whatever canal that was obstructed by the big boat for, uh, I don't know, was that 10 days or two weeks or something like that? Well, that just killed some of the stuff that we were supposed to get, uh, man, like a month ago. So it's all slowed down. Uh, stuff is probably backed up in uh, wherever port that they were supposed to go into. Uh, our closest port here would be Long Beach. So that would be California. But a lot of our distribution uh, or a lot of our distributors are in like Chicago, Colorado, um, back east. So those channels are kind of in Atlanta. So our stuff has been hard to come by so my i mean my top things that i really need that i haven't gotten since november november of 2020 um, have been actually some of the rackets um, like the arrows the, the standard bananas have been extremely hard to come by um, i barely got i think a dozen last week after um, getting the last shipment in November. Um, strikes have always been, also been hard to come by. I've been waiting for a strike 100 in a 1 8th since November. Uh, finally came. Uh, I ordered it in November though. So count how many months that is. Seven months? So we, we have really patient customers and I'm very uh, um, happy about that. But, um, but it, it's, yeah, it's bad right now, uh, as you guys may know. Um, the supply chain of balls, guys, I've been hearing that a lot of my pals in the industry uh, that own little, little uh, tennis shops, they have no balls to sell you. Um, have you walked into a pro shop and they, they, they tell you, I have no balls. Um, there's a few out here that basically have zero balls to sell you. Uh, even grips, I was shocked. Like I waited three weeks extra to get my um, Hydrosorb Comforts. It took extra long. Um, strings, strings have been about a six week delay on the natural gut. Usually I order it and they have them in stock and they ship it immediately. But strings have, um, gut particularly, have been um, long. Now, Gamma, gamma TNT, my, one of my go-to strings, I usually uh, don't have to wait at all for these. I've been waiting literally a month or more sometimes for Gamma TNT or a TNT touch, um, sometimes a professional too. So it's not good, it's not good. Um, RPM, RPM, usually they have, Babylon has a ton of RPM. They don't have a ton of RPM right now, especially uh, 16 gauge reels. Uh, they're short and they're pumping them out as fast as they can, but my guess is they're on boats right now. Um, even the Trinity Bulls, which uh, Wilson was trying to dump for a while. Um, there, I got to wait until the end of May to get my shipment of uh, Trinity balls. So, I mean, it's not good out there. Do you guys see it? But it's, 
it's a long, long wait. Other things that have been hard to come by, usually um, about a month ago, I would be looking for um, white t-shirts so that I can print um, basically summer camp shirts on, right? I would print anywhere from 300 to 500 summer camp shirts and it's been hard to get blank white pretty good quality t-shirts so that we can print stuff on uh, there everybody is depleted and uh, it's been hard to find I mean odds and end colors like yellow green reds have been a little easier but white black the staple colors have been extremely hard to find. So I'm not sure, I might go with a yellow t-shirt this year for the kids, uh, tennis ball yellow with some green writing. Uh, another hats, adult hats, like this, these Nike hats have been hard to find too. Uh, they're, they're not getting them as consistently as they were before. Um, it's been difficult to get the hats, it's been difficult to get the visors, um, keeping those in stock. Uh, at Nike uh, is, ugh, I don't know how they do it, but uh, hopefully they get more so that I can get more. So uh, yeah, got to pray for our hats, okay? So we don't burn our heads like like me. Uh, go bags. My, my buddies uh, over at the Go Company, the Go Sport Company, um, this is my last one. I literally had 20 of those backpacks that everybody likes and they sold out like that. And my buddies over at Go Sports said, uh, we don't have any more backpacks for a while. And I'm like, but you just got them. And he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, those Go, Go backpacks are gone. This is the last nine pack that I own. So uh, hopefully I get more. I think they have more of these, but the backpacks are all gone. And the worst hit is shoes. I mean, people are calling me, emailing me, asking me for shoes. And I'm like, try Tennis Warehouse. And they're like, we did. And I'm like, uh, if Tennis Warehouse doesn't have it, how do you expect me to have it? Uh, the most common shoe that people are asking me for are Gel Resolution 8s and Court FF2 uh, slash Novak's. And they all want size 10, size 10 and a half, right? Size nine and a half next and then size 11. So anywhere in that men's nine and a half to 11, right? Hard to find, if any, they're not out there right now. Um, everybody's waiting for probably the same shipment from that same boat uh, to get to ASICS so that they can distribute all those shoes. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much okay with, like I always tell you, 11 and a half, 12, 13s, and maybe like an eight and a half and under on a shoe like this. But anything in the heart of what most people wear uh, are pretty much non-existent. And I'm, I've been telling that that's nationwide, just everywhere, everywhere. Um, men been hit hard more than the women's. The women's are actually not horrible. Uh, it's beginning to get there though. That size seven to nine, uh, mostly seven and a half and eight, are thinning out very quickly. So if you're a woman and you need shoes and you wear A6 gel resolution eights, I wouldn't be too picky about the color. I would just get what you can at this point because I don't think anybody knows when more of these are coming. Um, it's even affecting Actually, Yonex. The uh, I tried to order special order one of these in a nine for a woman who uh, just got one because uh, she liked it so much she wanted another pair. And they told me June six. I was like, whoa, that's like a month away. And they're like, yeah, we're waiting for that shipment too. So it's pretty much um, tennis wide that this problem is affecting. So. Like this is my third video warning you guys, if you want something, especially this year, don't wait for it because it may not be there when you really want it because uh, it's not looking good out there. Um, every time 
uh, something happens in the, uh, the shipping channels, it gets delayed longer and longer. And I don't know if you heard, but it, where the drums come in, where the big containers come in, every time somebody comes down with a COVID, they actually shut the whole thing down. So boats are literally waiting before they can dock to unload because somebody has COVID for 24 to 48 hours. So everything is just slowed down. Um, so just, just a word of uh, wisdom, don't wait. Don't wait this year, it's, it's getting worse. Uh, it's not getting any better. Okay, uh, buy your stuff. All right guys, got a special guest with me today and we're gonna have him take you out. Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm from Austin, Texas. And thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.